Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta yesterday celebrated his 63rd birthday while in a meeting, an African Union meeting in Cote d'Ivoire. And he, it seemed that he has resurfaced like he did last year during such moments. And his timing was very significant because he resurfaced at a time when there is trouble in paradise. The government that voted against him, people who had been hoodwinked to malign him and vote against him and his project, Rela Molodinga, are now suffering. Friends, William Ruto and Rigedi Geshagwa, are now at it, fighting with each other, claiming and accusing each other of trying to kill or to topple the other. And so as Uhuru resurfaces, many people are asking, was Uhuru Kenyatta a better leader? Because what William Ruto is facing today from his deputy is the same thing that Kenyatta faced when William Ruto was his deputy. But he never once even tried to impeach his deputy. And people are saying that maybe Uhuru Kenyatta was such a very patient leader. And his coming back has really elicited a lot of speculation. In fact, National Newspaper had this to say that why Uhuru return is causing a big debate. And it goes on to say that the resurfacing of Uhuru Kenyatta in public after months of speculation about his whereabouts and views on the raging political storm has stirred a debate as the former president appears to exert influence by saying little or nothing at all. His absence from the political arena has not eliminated his name from, politi uh, from politicians' lips, with impeached Deputy President Mr. Rigeti Geshagwa invoking his name in his Mount Kenya unity. Uru has been very quiet. At some point, he was accused of sponsoring demonstrations to destabilize William Samoy Ruto's government. At another point, he was being uh, accused of sponsoring court cases against, against the sheriff and sheriff and, and even the housing project that William Ruto had in a bid to sabotage his projects, according to Ruto and the Rigadi camp. Then Uhuru decided that I want to keep quiet and let these people rule and implement their agenda because they had said they had a plan. They had accused Uru Kenyatta of uh, economic mess and they were saying that Uhuru never had a plan. So he kept quiet so that Kenyans could see for themselves. If you juxtapose today the kind of leadership between Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, who can you vote for? Who was a better leader? Considering if, let's say, both of them are devils and you have to choose one. And the question that many are asking is, if Uhuru Kenyatta has to resurface, does he have any influence? Is he capable of uh, ensuring that, that through his influence, he can give Ruto a run for his money in 2027? That is the question that many people are asking. If you ask me, I still don't understand how Uhuru Kenyatta with all the instruments of power allowed William Ruto to triumph over them with Raila Molodinga. While William Ruto was just a deputy president, Uhuru Kenyatta was the outgoing president, but he had all the instruments of power. So I feel that there is very little that Uhuru can do now that he is outside power. Yeah, that is what I think, because if there is something he could have done, he could have achieved it successfully while he was commanding things. Some people are saying, that maybe even the deep state, the NIS and the security apparatus were not being honest and truthful to him. That maybe he was being given a dishonest intelligence report just to make sure that he was, was complacent about Raila's you know, campaign and the expectation that Raila was going to automatically win. But then, what are some of the qualities or some of the things that Uhuru can do if at all he so decides that he wants to ensure that he gives Uhuru a run for his money? That is exactly what I want us to look at. And before we do that, please subscribe to our channel if you are watching us for the first time. Click the notification bell to allow YouTube to notify you. 
help us share videos and please give this video likes it helps promote the video again if you are our returning subscribers and our supporters thank you very much one of the things that Uru Kenyatta can do is that he has been declared as the ultimate Mount Kenya spokesperson that is something that Rigedi Gashaba had said many people say it when people are celebrating his birthday very many people are saying that Uhuru Kenyatta is the ultimate kingpin in Mount Kenya. With that, he can easily galvanize the unity of Gema from Embu to Meru to Kirinyaga to Kiambu to Muranga, all these counties that he can bring them together and tell them that this is the direction. If at all they agree, that is the, that, that is the ultimate kingpin. With that, they will be very ready to unite as a team, as a full force with other like-minded people. Because right now, William Ruto has become very unpopular. Why not for maybe the, the, this kind of makeshift government that they have, that they have made with Raila Mondo Dinga. William Ruto was going home. People don't like him because of the policies that he has, uh, you know, asserted on people. So with that, Uru Kenyatta can do something that can scare William Samoy Ruto. His ability to talk to Raila, you know, they are friends. If you compare, for example, if Mount Kenya wanted to maybe try and persuade Raila to join them so that maybe Raila goes for one term, because Raila is age now, if he wants to become a president, I'm just uh, using this as a, a, a hypothesis. So if they decide that they want to talk to Raila Odinga, Gashagwa cannot, because Gashagwa really insulted Raila. Gashagwa attacked him at some in fact within the quarters of ODM both leaders and supporters believe that Gashagwa wanted to kill Raila Odinga so the only person who can approach Raila and Raila can give him audience is Uhuru Kenyatta when Jomo Kenyatta was uh, in the state house as a president the, the the second in command was Raila's father and so these people know each other they were in state house and they grew up together. That is one of the things that William Ruto used to campaign with in, in 2022, that these are buddies who are born and bred in, in, with bread and butter, therefore they didn't understand the predicaments of the, of the hustlers. So that ability to talk to Raila can cause a lot of problems to William Samuel Ruto. Number three, Uru Kenyatta is a rich man, he's wealthy, and his ability to convince the Mount, the Mount Kenya moneyed mafias in terms of money that is while Mabwenyenye, those Mount Kenya billionaires he can easily rally them together so that if anyone is approaching an, uh, 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 an election then there will be money let's say for example they just decide that they are uniting with Kalonzo, Eugene, Raila they just decide that they want to have a, a formation they can easily give out money because campaigns need a lot of money that influence and the friendship, because Uhuru Kenyatta is among the billionaires, he's part of uh, and parcel of the billionaires club. So with that, he can easily rally for more money and they can give, you know, William Ruto a run for his money. Number four is the international clout, his, uh, his space at the international level, both in Africa. You've seen him being sent to be an observer in one of the African, one or two African elections. Even as we speak, he was one of the guests at the African Union Commission meeting that is taking place in Cote d'Ivoire. He led a peacekeeping mission in Congo. So he is a man who is known as a former president, as a peacekeeper and all that. So with that, the international community can easily listen to him. Africa as a whole can easily listen to him. In fact, at some point, some people thought that he would even be fronted as the new African Union Commission chairperson. But as fate had it, the government of Kenya decided to rally their support to Raila Amolo Odinga. So if you ask me, I don't think there is much that he can do because I feel that William Ruto maneuvered when he was a, he was a, he had all the powers. But right now, William Ruto is very unpopular because the policies, all the things that he said, has turned out to be mere political gimmicks. Back then, people had hopes with all the lies, people could not connect one, two, three. So today, things are different. If Uru would sponsor someone and they go 
against William Ruto, it will sink on people because they have now seen the true colors of William Samoy Ruto. He's now being uh, accused of lies, economic hardships, abductions, you know, all this. And Mount Kenya will also listen to Huru Kenyatta because when they told when he told them that they did feel he did feel like they, they, they would be safe in Ruto's hands, they never believed him. In fact, they voted against Raila to punish Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, if he goes back to them and tells them, please, for the second time, vote here so that you don't regret later, they might listen to him. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is the only thing. With this jubilee party that was given to him late, late or just last, last week, he might revamp it and they, it can be part of a coalition that will form the government, next government in 2027. I don't know what to think, but that is my take.